Spirit of my silence, I can hear you, but I'm afraid to be near you, and I don't know where to begin, and I don't know where to begin. Somewhere in the desert, there's a forest and an acre before us, but I don't know where to begin but i don't know where to begin again i lost my strength completely oh be near me tired old mare with the wind in your hair This planet. I don't know, we've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. No, it's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Hmm. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Oh, cool. Should he be dark or colorful? Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. Captain Spirit doesn't need weapons. But just in case. Hmm. I can... I can take the pain. At least I don't have to use any needles. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. 
so glad I did my English homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now, I have to locate the second part of the map. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted the Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. I sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, Snowmancer. Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. Okay, that's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. Be right there. Well, this is a first. I didn't have to tell you twice. The food smells good. But you know how to work the ref. I think the eggs turned out all right. The salt is a secret. Uh, you let me know. Pour yourself some milk, okay? <sighs> milk mission accomplished. Breakfast of champions. <sighs> What'd you expect, a waffle? It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm gonna watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you could be my official food taster. Deal? Yeah. Okay. So, Dad, what's the big plan for today? Uh... Big game plan. Even though we'll probably lose again. Gotta get rid of that coach. Today I bet we win. Now that's the fucking spirit. I'm sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? No, it's fine. I worked it out. I, I just want to make sure you're okay, buddy. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. I'm always excited for Christmas. Hint, hint. I was hoping Santa might maybe get 
me a new console since mine is broken. And Santa needs to get me a new job. It has to be a console. A basketball costs 10 bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just wanna watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. Okay, what would Captain Spirit do? Oh man, this is cold. I might have to check out the water eater. Feel the power. It's early, but I can make Dad some mac and cheese. He's too lazy, and he won't eat anything. Beginning countdown to launch. Five, four, three, Two, one. green things are flushed into space. God damn, you're on fire. The beer can monster cannot be. I've never seen a beaver around here. Boring. Mine. Ah. 
We never use this door in winter because of the snow. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. I hope I set this right. Oh God, I hate going in there. Why is the microwave beeping, kiddo? Did you use it? Snack time! Did you make that for me? You wouldn't get up during the game, so I thought you could eat out here. I can nuke this mac and cheese in no time. Not bad. Not bad at all. You better start cooking from now on, buddy. Mom made the best mac and cheese. I mean... She did make the best mac and cheese. But this is the perfect comfort food for a winter game day. Thanks. Well, taste it first. Best mac and cheese ever. That was so popular. That's how Goodbye, you log. That's it. And that is how you shoot the ball. Never. Bam. Dad, I found your car keys. That's where they went. Or I had them on me, but they must have fell out of my pocket last night. Just put them in the bowl. Cool? Yeah. God damn, you're on fire. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. Smells just like her. I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. Light on. Ah, oh, that's better. Hey, can you get that? Yes! Chris, answer the phone, please. Chris, answer the phone. Uh... Hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, okay? Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. 
By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Cool story, Dad. Ah, I need a pin code. What is it? No, no, no! I stole a ball from that piece of shit! You suck! Yes! I can hack any system! Let's start. I would love to see Hot Dog Man team up with Captain Spirit. There's my Hot Dog Man. I can't see Dad so... Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best Dad ever. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo-choo. Oh, those are Dad's pages. I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Headshot! Ow! Oh, cheap shot! I'm going down! You can't... Kill the zombie jock. No way! That was a headshot! I am a super zombie! Well, I'm a superhero! Can't argue with that. Zombie down. Captain Spirit strikes back. Careful of booby traps. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. Oh my God. Dad actually got me the new play box? No way. Dad used to always talk about this basketball. Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. That's scary. So we moved because Dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Dad 
Dad doesn't play Mom's records as much as before. Singing mom's old records. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Yes, this will totally protect me from man droid. One more piece, and I'm almost done. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me. Oh man, she loved this song. I haven't listened to it since, for a long time. Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Pedestrian better get out of the way. That was your last ride, Shark Stinger. Yes, Captain Spirit saved us. You'll never run over anybody again. Nocturious. It's already over, Power Bear. Uh, Don't let Mantroid control you. Nobody controls me. Mantroid is my leader, and he wants you to die. <laughs> Give up now. We don't have to fight. You're not the boss of me, Power Bear. You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy. Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh, good guy? I'm sorry, Nocturus. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. Ooh. Ah. Ow, my back. How? How did you do this? I can't move. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit. Please come to my aid. I can't defeat Nocturus on my own. I can't, Captain Spirit. Hello, Power Bear. I'm here to finally destroy Nocturus. You never fail us, Captain Spirit. No, you can't do that to me. I'm just a puppet. Then let's cut your strings. people. Ah. 
Good job, but we still have to deal with Mantroid. With Captain Spirit in charge, our team is going to win every battle. Ball. I should ask Dad to show me again. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. Are you kidding me, ref? Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. Hmm. Huh. I wonder where he hit them. This isn't greedy. Right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. At least the forest warrior protects me from the snow ghost. Dad said he was going to fix that last month. Uh, right? Yes. Now I can use that makeup from Halloween. No, no, no! No one will guess my secret identity now. You suck. Whoa. My suit is almost ready. After I get some paint. Now that's a superhero. Welcome to WHERO. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? My message is that Mantroid will never win, and I will find you, and I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job. And that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? My parents are my biggest heroes. I bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. OK, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to WHERO News. Dinosaur Land is open for business. Eat everybody. I am more T-Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! This dinosaur won't need a grumpy old dad, right? Right? Hey, buddy, can you bring me a beer? 
You already drank a lot of beer. Thanks, bartender. Now get me the goddamn beer, okay? Okay, okay. That's right, it's okay. Now that's a nice cold one. Cheers. Man, that was fast, Dad. Well, excuse me. Okay, I'll slow down, Chris. This empty can is evil. Would Captain Spirit take care of it? Really? Yeah? Step aside, Mr. Erickson. Captain Spirit is here to recycle. <laughs> you better hurry. This can's gonna destroy the town. Man, that was too close. Thanks, Captain Spirit. I'm always here to lead my team to victory. Dad never smiles like that anymore. Well, that wasn't too hard. I have tamed the water beast. Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think I'm all. Hey, Dad. We never use this door in winter because of the snow.
extra bonus points on luck. Now I can color Captain Spirit just like my drawing. It's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue. And it's time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. Yes! Thanks for storing my explosives, Chief. Now I'm ready to rock. Sorry, Dad. Grandma and Grandpa were so nice. I wish we saw them more. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. My first picture, it looks so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. This is where Mom went to school. Mom didn't go to art school because of me, but she was already an amazing artist. Oh, wow. I remember when Mom drew that, and Dad couldn't stop laughing. I don't get this one. I'm too young. God, the lake demon is rising. Oh, Snowmancer, this is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? Now you are ready to battle with Captain Spirit. Yes! So cool. Snowmancer almost 
froze the whole city until Captain Spirit melted him. For now. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the Ice Queen. Sorry I destroyed your father, but he was a supervillain. Sky Pirate, what's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. I can't let Dad find my secret stash. Ever. <sighs> Open sesame. These are my favorite baseball players, even if I don't understand the stats. Harry did say mean things about Dad, but I can't let him see this. This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now. I loved watching Mom draw her comics. Maybe I can use this to read the map. Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. A fortress looks safe since we last talked. I had to rescue my old cereal bowl after Dad used it for an ashtray. Gross. Jerks. Like people don't drink in bars around here. Here I come, Mantroid. Get going. This is Captain Spirit. You copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Escape pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything looks good. Start the launch. We're going faster than light speed. 
be? What's that ahead? Oh no! Meteor shower! Turn on the force field! Too late! Emergency! SOS! Crash landing! Ah! I wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! The planet is so dark, and the sky is so red, like blood. No wonder Man Troy lives here. But how could anyone live here? It's kind of sad and lonely. What's that sound? Something is coming, or somebody. Oh, Dan, come to my planet. Mantroid, show yourself, you coward. Get away from me. <laughs> I don't have to get away because I'm everywhere. Fight me instead of hiding. You will pay for what you did, Mantroid, I swear. Time for Captain Spear to put these pieces together. The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine.
hate that beer can smell. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. This part of Beaver Creek is so different from where we lived before. Uh, boom. Uh, yes! Pow! Boom! Blam! Recycle that! the map to the maze of doom. I forgive you, Mother, I can hear you, and I love to be near you, but every road leads to an end, yes, every road leads to an end, your apparition passes through me in the willows and five red hands, you'll never see us again. see us again. Mom was so pretty. I miss Mom's smile.
I hate seeing him like this. Dad, you, you sleeping? Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Do I look okay? No. I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Fuck! Uh, that's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought... I thought you said... The pine tree? The pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Oh my, look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just... just... Just? Just... Hanging out playing video games. You boys and your video games. You should play games outside like we used to. Like your dad used to. Oh, I know, I know. I'm old. But I did see you clearing that snow off the front porch. So good of you. Actually, I, I was going for a nice walk, but it sounded like the 4th of July over here. Is everything okay? Totally. Me and my dad were just decorating the tree and I tripped over the lights and the tree almost crashed on me. But dad caught it and he fell so, so. Gee, that's some story. Is everybody all right? Um, yeah. Must have been quite a scare. I hope you have something else planned for today. I wanted to fix up the treehouse. Maybe Steve could come by and help? Well, that sounds like a fun job for a father and son, right? Oh, my dad wants to, but he's super busy today. Too busy on a Saturday to help you with the treehouse? Yeah, he's tired from work and stuff. Plus, he's got to support his team. Maybe he should support his son instead. There's always another game, right? Okay, Chris. I think I've heard enough. I'm going to talk to Stephen about this, and we'll be back to chat with your father. Wait. You don't, please. Listen, I'm not trying to hurt you, okay? We wanna help. You're not in trouble. You haven't done anything. Just stay put and we'll come by in a little bit. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. 
Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh? No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... And just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. I, just, just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris!